Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. like this storm is going to let up none for spell, Mr. Dillon. No, it sure doesn't, Chester. I ain't never seen country to beat this. Uh-huh. There just ain't no halfway about it. It's either hot and dry or cold and wet. Ain't that so, Mr. Dillon? Uh. Seems like a body should have it a little better than that. I swear you can either fry yourself to death or get soaked to death, and that's about the way it is. Well, there's one other way, Chester. How's that? You can talk yourself to this. Well, now, Mr. Dillon, I was just saying how things are. Chester. Did. Yes, sir. Well, we better start looking for a place to take cover. You may be right. We just might get soaked to death. Ah, over there, Chester, that shack. Yes, sir, I see it. All right, we'll head for it for the night, huh? All right, sir. Well, there ain't even no shed there for the horses. Well, let's ride around to that side, out of the wind. I have to leave them there. Shelter. Doesn't look like the shack is either. Come on. Well, I sure didn't expect to see no stove in here, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, I don't expect you'll find any dry wood either. Mm. Right about that. They ain't a stick. Well, we can shake some of this water off anyway. Well, that's some better. Mm. Ain't much warmer in here than two winters out. Well, you can always stay outside with the horses, Chester. Well, now I... If you don't that. mind, I'm going to try to get some sleep. their guns. Me and Mosley's particular when we walk into a place. Not particular. They're not very friendly. Yeah, we figure to live longer this way. Who are you? Matt Dillon. I might ask the same of you. Who's the other one? Well, I'm, I'm Chester Proudfoot. If that means anything to you. No, it don't mean nothing to me. And as long as you behave yourself, maybe it won't. I don't know who you are, mister, but... You, you... sit right there where you are. Mostly get a light going. Sure, Hud. Uh, that's better. I mean, we can see what we got here. There ain't neither one of them look like much to me. Now you just see. Shut here, up. You... What are you doing here? Uh, you 
put that gun away. Maybe we can talk. You ain't calling the play. He hard. He's wearing a badge. Hello? Now, who told you, mister? Who sent you here? I don't know what you're talking about. Millie. Millie done it. Oh, now, Hart, I don't write this. She I... done it. She called the law on me. Well, she ain't never done it before, huh? She Hart. was bound to turn me in one day, and she done it. Well, I'll fix her. Now, Hart, wait. You ought to give her a chance. Well, she sure didn't give me much. She'll be here with the grub for a long wait till then, Hart, and give her a chance to talk. Now, there ain't no use waiting. Why, sure there is. Besides, Hart, you wouldn't want to go off and leave these two like this. They might break out. Well, maybe you're right. Sure I'm right. Just sit down, Hart, and wait till Millie gets here and, and let her speak her piece. I can tell you right now, nobody sent me after you. Even though it would have been a good idea. Shut up, you. You better look out who you're You keep to. shut, too. I'll beat your head clean off. Now, we just sat here like Mosley says. We just sat here and wait for Millie to come. Uh, somebody... Uh, somebody coming now, Mosley. A buggy. It's really all right. Now, you just keep quiet. I'll do the talk. Just give her a chance. I'll give her a chance. Hard, I brought the food like you told me. Uh, you done it, didn't you? You finally done it. Here, you Mr. sit right there, lawman. Keep him covered real good, Mosley. All right, Hard, but take it easy. There's no use bullying her for something she didn't do. I told you to shut up. Uh -huh. That'll keep your big mouth quiet. Time up, Mosley. Both of them. I want to talk to Millie. You sure? Do what I tell you. All right. Millie? I ain't done nothing. He's here, ain't he? The law's here. What's none of my doing? I ain't believing that, Millie. You've been just crying to get the law on me. I ain't done it, Hall. You've always been too nicey-nice, Millie. You ain't never took to my riding out... I don't hold with Stephen. I gotta say that, but I didn't. So you finally told the law. You finally tried to fix me. Honest heart, I didn't do it. I just brought the food here like you told me. Please. You're lying. No, heart, no. Leave her be. Stay huh? back, Mosley. Now listen to me. You you waste any more time. We won't be there when the stage comes through. Yeah, I guess you're right. You bet I'm right. Come on now, leave her be. That's right. All right, Mosley, all right. But I ain't leaving her here like this, free with the law. You tie her up. She won't do I nothing. I said tie her up. Then we'll get out of here. Couldn't be so heavy-handed mean. Uh, you want to get free of him? 
I'm feared to. I'm feared to death, too. Now you tell me where he's gone. He'd kill me, Marshal. He just plain beat me to death. And if he was arrested, you'd be free of him? But maybe only for a little while. When he got out, he'd get me. Somehow, he'd get me. All right, then, Millie. Chester? Yes, sir? I want you to take her into Dodge. Take her to... Right now? Right now. Tell Kitty to take care of her till I get back. You going after them men? I'm going after them. While well, the tracks are still clear. Well, I'd ought to go with you, Mr. Take Young. the woman into town, Chester, right now. Well, if you say so. I say so. Now get going. is like lying in a barrel of water. Shut up, Mosley. Next time I'll pick me a man to do the job with me. Any man can get cold and wet. Just shut up and watch for that stage. What's that? There's some rocks washing down, I reckon. Sure would be nicer if it was dry. Will you quit your music? All right, just stand easy there. The marshal will get him. Kitty's room, but Ma Small is, Matt. I, I'm having her stay in bed for a few days. Now, she's got a lot of strength to catch up on. All right, if I talk to her, Doc. Well, I, I don't think it'll hurt her, Matt. Uh, oh, there's just one thing. Yeah, what's that? Uh, try not to scare her to death. She's scared enough already. Well, I'll try, but seeing me isn't what she's scared of. No, uh, I guess you're right. Uh, try to take it easy, though. Huh? Sure, Doc, I will. I'll see you later. Come in. 
Oh, Matt. Sure. Come on in. Uh, how are you, Kitty? Oh, I'm fine, Matt. But that's more than I can say for that poor thing upstairs. Yeah, I know. Uh, how's she feeling? Oh, she doesn't feel very well. I don't suppose she'll be feeling very well for a long, long time. She's been through a lot. Yeah. Doc says I could come over and see her. Yeah, sure, Matt. But be easy on her, huh? I'm not going to beat her, Kitty. Of course not, Matt, but... Those questions Listen, are... Kitty, it's time you and Doc realize something. What? I'm not asking questions to hurt anybody. The questions I ask may just save her life. Sure, ma'am. All right, let's go upstairs. Millie, Millie, Marshal Dillon's here. He'd, he'd like to see you for a minute. Can I bring him in? Bring him in. Oh, hello, Millie. Marshal. I, uh, like to ask you a few questions. You didn't get him? No. No, I didn't get him. I killed Mosley, but uh, Hard got away. He'll be back. He'll be back for me, Marshal. Millie, I want to keep him from hurting you. You believe that? I believe it. But nobody can stop him. He'll be back. He'll hurt me again. Well, not if I find him first. You won't find him. Well, I might. If you tell me where he might be. Or he goes to hide out. I can't tell you anything. You know where he came from, Millie? Millie. Millie, if you tell me, it might save your life. Marshal, I, I'd like to tell you, but I can't. I can't. Matt. All right, Kitty. She's scared to death. Yeah, I know. Uh, Kitty will know where I am, Millie, if you decide you want to talk to me. He'll be coming. I know he will. I know it. <laughs> Millie, Matt will take care of him. He won't let him get you. Will you, Matt? Well, I sure hope not, Kitty. I sure hope not. your town, either. Ain't nothing keeping you here. Is there a stranger? I got business here. What's too bad? You're not liking it, no. But it ain't gonna be too bad for me. Who you aiming for? I'm aiming for that big marshal. Well, now, I tell you, mister, better men than you have aimed for Matt Dillon. They're keeping company on Boot Hill. He got my woman. <laughs> he what? Well, now, what's funny? Well, it just don't sound right. Matt Dillon taking your woman, that's all. He's a man, ain't he? He's man enough so that he don't have to go around asking for other folks' women. She must have been willing. I aim to find her. Besides, there's Miss Kitty. I don't think she'd like it. Who's Kitty? She's been a friend of the marshal's a long time. She'd know about any other woman? Kitty? 
<laughs> she knows about everything that goes on in Dodge. Where is she? Oh, she ain't hard to find. I said, where is she? She owns part of the Long Branch down the street. She's there most of the time. I believe I'll pay her a call. Kitty? Well, Miss Kitty ain't here right now. Now, they told me I'd find her here. You got some business with her? Yeah, I got some business with her. And I come a long way. Well, it's a fact. She's here most of the time. She's been staying up to her room the last few days, though, tending a sick lady. A sick lady? Yeah. She don't like to leave her much. Well, where does she live? My, um, well, Miss Kitty keeps a room at Ma Smalley's down the street. But she ought to be in for long. I ain't got time. <laughs> well, hey, you didn't pay for your whiskey. Miss Kitty's paying for it. <laughs> sick lady. Now, just a minute. Get out of my way. You can't go in there. There ain't nobody keeping me out. Oh, oh. Now, you just stay right down there and you won't get hurt no more. You? Hard. I ain't gonna hit you no more at all. You deserve it, though, don't you, Millie? <laughs> Running off with a marshal that way? <sighs> turning me in? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Don't hurt me. Why, Millie, I ain't gonna hurt you hardly at all. Leastwise, you won't hurt long. Not a knife. Leave her alone. Oh. I'll get to you next. No, you won't. Put that lamp down. Fire. <laughs> I'm on fire. Come on, Millie. Get out of here. I'm on fire. Somebody put it out. Come on, man. Fire. Just a fire. All right, stand aside, Kitty. Chester, throw the blanket over it. Come on. Carry on, Miss Jelena. I think it's out all right. Yeah. All right. Get up, you. Come on. She had no call to burn me. She didn't burn you bad enough. I, I'm sorry, Maddox. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what to do. He had that knife. It's all right, Kitty. But it's a terrible thing to burn a man. Don't worry about it. Is it... Is he going to live through it all right? Yeah, he'll live through it. Long enough to go to trial anyway. All right, come on, Chester. Let's get him out of here. Directed in Hollywood by Norman McDonald stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Marion Clark, with editorial supervision by John Meston. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, Gene Bates, Harry Bartell, Barney Phillips, and Sam Edwards. Harley Dare is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. May we take a moment to welcome three new affiliates to the CBS Radio Network. KBEE, Modesto, California. AFBK, Sacramento, California. And WATV, Birmingham, Alabama. We're very happy to have you with us. This is the CBS Radio Network.